So we're here at NAB at the Avid stand and I'm here with Derek. Uh, Media Composer has just had a big update. So uh, Derek, good to see you. What's new in Media Composer this year? So this year we're really showing off our all new interface. So everything now is more of a panel UI so I can quickly kind of resize and dynamically adjust things. Um, if I've been using Composer for years and I'm used to being able to have everything floating, we're not trying to change that workflow for you. I can still grab anything and I can pull it out and I can work with it in that floating environment the same way I've always been working with it. Um, we're not trying to change your workflow, we're just trying to give you some additional options and things that we think improve your, your, your possibilities. Um, so everything can kind of be done that way. We also, up here with our bins, now give you the option of this workspace. So as I open up new bins, they're going to tab by default, but like the rest of the interface, I can move things around. I can say, you know, I want these side by side, or, you know, I wanted this tab down here, or I even, you know, I want it floating the way I'm used to having my bins float. We can let you do anything you want, so I can take this too. If I, this is a bin I don't need very often, I can grab it, I can snap it behind here, and now it's tabbed behind that other bin um, so that everything is out of my way to really unclutter my life to keep me focused and organized inside my user experience. It looks really good. It's a, a a lot more fresher uh, than the, the older version. Uh, it's really nice. How are, are people taking to it so far? People have been really enjoying the new interface, yes. Cool. And are there any other um, enhancements, uh, any speed in improvements or anything like that at all? So we've completely redesigned the media engine in the back end. So we now added OP1A support. So you used to have just the OP Atoms, and now we have OP1A. So I can choose between those. Our new engine is a full 32-bit, so we now support the Aces color space if I'm working with something like that. Uh, but what that also means is as I'm bringing stuff in, I'm generally going to see a little bit more performance as I'm linking against clips. So normally there'd be some processing. I can now bring in, this is a, Pro, a 4K ProRes file that I just can bring in, play against my file, and it's just going to be what I expect it to be. And if you're already a Media Composer user, will you get this upgrade free of charge or is there any? As long as you're under active support, yes. So if you're on the subscription, it will just come out end of next month. Thanks very much, Derek. So uh, make sure you check out this new version of Avid Media Composer.